The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. These words encapsulate a fundamental philosophy of Confucius. He was born in a time of turmoil, dedicated his life to knowledge and virtue. His teachings have shaped China's moral fabric and continue to inspire globally. If you enjoy our content, subscribe to stay updated with our latest videos. Now, let's explore the life of Confucius together. Confucius was born in 551 BCE in the state of Lu, during a tumultuous time known as the Spring and Autumn period. His family, once aristocrats in the state of Song, had fallen on hard times. Despite his noble lineage, Confucius's father died when he was young, leaving his family in poverty. Determined to rise above his circumstances, Confucius immersed himself in the six arts, ritual, music, archery, charioteering, writing, and arithmetic. He believed that education was the key to moral integrity and effective governance. Confucius's career began in modest positions, but his wisdom and diligence led him to become the Minister of Crime in Lu. His tenure was marked by effective governance and diplomatic prowess. However, political struggles with powerful families forced him into self-imposed exile in 498 BCE. For 14 years, Confucius traveled through the states of Wei, Song, Chen and Kai seeking rulers who would implement his vision of virtuous governance. Despite his efforts, he never found a patron who fully embraced his ideas. Confucius then later passed away in 479 BC. Much of what we know about Confucius comes from the Analects, a collection of his sayings and ideas compiled by his disciples. Another valuable source is the Zhuozhuan, a commentary on the official annals of the state of Lu. The first comprehensive biography of Confucius was written by Sima Qian, China's most distinguished historian in the first century BCE. Sima Qian wove together stories from the Analects and other historical records, giving us a continuous narrative of Confucius's life and thought. Confucius's teachings centered on the importance of personal and governmental morality correctness of social relationships, justice, kindness, and sincerity. He emphasized the concept of ren or humaneness, advocating that one should not impose on others what one does not wish for oneself. Do not impose on others what you do not want others to impose on you. Confucius also valued education and self-cultivation, believing that moral integrity and knowledge were essential for effective governance. I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. Confucius's ideas were further developed by his followers, particularly Mencius and Chunzi. Mencius, who believed in the inherent goodness of humans, and Junzi, who argued that human nature is inherently selfish, offered differing interpretations of Confucian thought. During the Han Dynasty, Confucianism became the state ideology, shaping Chinese society and government for centuries. Later, during the Song Dynasty, Confucian scholars like Zhu Xi expanded on these ideas, integrating them with elements of Taoism and Buddhism. In recent years, new discoveries of ancient texts have sparked a renewed interest in Confucian thought. The excavation of bamboo strip manuscripts in the 1990s has provided fresh insights into Confucius's teachings and their historical context. These findings have enriched our understanding of Confucian philosophy and its evolution, highlighting the enduring relevance of Confucius's vision of a harmonious society grounded in moral values. Confucius once said, The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. His journey continues to inspire countless individuals around the world to strive for wisdom, integrity and compassion. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Confucius's life and legacy. Stay curious, stay informed, stay tuned to Era Shapers.